What's good, YouTube? How's the champs here? Introduce yourself for my channel. Oscar and Daryl's from Phoenix, Arizona. And uh, what did you uh, do this weekend? Got second at ARG Fort Worth, Dallas. So. Man, I almost thought you were going to come back. Like, you shook your hand when you, he was down, and then you started coming back, and, but then you just hit low scale after low scale, man. Yeah, it's rough. Okay, so I run like, as many high scales as low scales. So just as hitting the low scale is just like a 50-50. I was just like, all right, this, it's going to stop. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get it. I'm going to get it. It just never came. All right, let's get into the deck, man. All right, so playing two Arch Phoenix Centrics. Like, I play this card a lot during Ignite. Like, it was like my MVP uh, when I almost topped San Jose with Big Nights and like I just stopped playing completely I was just like the card's not good anymore the tempo's too slow like it's just, it just doesn't combo but then last week Billy was playing it at the UDS and like he just kept smashing me so these are in here because of Billy the Billy break then uh, we got my Ariana Grande's you know, I, everyone should know by now I love that card and I, Got my, my one of Trinity. Yeah. The staples. Alright, this is where people start looking at me crazy. Play three turtles and three lizard draws. I uh, keep my high skills up. I play more high skills than like almost everybody else. And my sorcerers and to finish the Porn Pal army, we have Camelop. This card. It's a two. It's a two scale level four, so it combos. You can make a Magister. You can make Ignister. It's just good, and most importantly, let you pendulum back Archfiend and Lizard draws. And I think this card is just the the best one to just float on field in any situation, especially multiple. Then I have my bricks. Apparently, just draw nothing but low scales. And Mass Chameleon and Donkey. I really wish I didn't play Mass Chameleon. This card seemed so good and it tested well, but then like it was just like it could have been so many other things. It could have been a third Arch Fiend, could have been another Donkey, could have been another Camel. So this card just didn't play well. Uh, that's it for Monsters. Uh, for spells, it's really, really standard. So, three face-offs, three wavering. Uh, I went down to one twin twister from two because uh, Billy kept beating me with unexpected die. So there's that. Then uh, my traps, uh, I played the four solemn cards because you know, fuck the format. Then two quaking mirror forces. And a chaos trap hole because that card's basically a second warning. It's every deck in the format except water. So this is it's probably the best counter trap other than to, to play as a fifth. The extra deck. Play three Ignisters, the two Dinos, and the three Magisters. If I could, I'd probably try and fit a third, a third Dino. I saw some people playing with three. I don't think anybody topped with three, but they seem to be able to get off a lot of extra plays. Billy used three. Billy used three? Yeah. There you go. Pretty sure he did. And then uh, got more generic level fours, the Emerald, the Dweller, King of Feral Limbs. I still play Trapeze because it's really easy to get double Sorcerer and then you always have a floating stroke of bat. So you still can get in some OTKs when people don't see them coming. But you think you're going to waste another Ignister, you just throw it a Trapeze. Uh, Diamond Dyer, Castell, and then a lot of people aren't playing this, but 101. I really like it. It, it gives you another out. It gives you an out to monster, so you don't have to waste Diamond Dyer, and you don't have to waste Castell. So you can still keep your versatile ones and just throw out a one on one against monsters. And then finally, my Levier. A, lo a lot of people are playing Bottomless. Uh, Billy was playing Chaos Trap Hole also, so my Luster could get removed a lot of different ways. And since I'm playing an extra two scale, it's easy for me to bring out my level threes. I can use my Lizard Draws and my Arch Fiend to make a Levier and get back into an OTK situation. Uh, my side deck, my other Twin Twister, because 
I need it against decks with anti spell, and it's really good against monarchs. Like, against certain mirror matches, depending how their trap lineup goes. And there's Dark Hole and Geki. I, it, I mostly brought these in. If I was going second game three against mirror match, it's just a good uh, field vibe. If they don't, haven't seen it game two, they're, re they're really thrown off and don't actually expect it. And then, like, I've had people not going to Felgrand and I just clear their board. Then, uh, double drill and lock, I think it's the best card against water. It's, it, it can stop their turn completely. Then, also, Maxi is just standard against Dark Pendulum, uh, against water, your preference then. Spell Shattering Arrow, uh, I started them in only against Monarch. They, they just clear return and domain at the same time, and it's, it pretty much it makes a free matchup against the quantum matchup because you you stop the if you stop the first domain and return they they don't know how to keep playing the game and two more cast travels like I said they're extra warnings in the format then triple trap stun it's probably my favorite card in my side it shuts down cosmos completely it doesn't let them play Yu Gi Oh against you it shuts down any deck playing anti spells it stops phantom knights from using their trap card actives. Uh, to negate your effects, to boost your monsters. This is my favorite card in the side. This was actually the card of the, the week on my channel last week for the same reason. Oh, really? Yeah, because it clears the domain and it does uh, all that. Yeah. I played one in ARG Phoenix. I really liked this. I decided to bump it up to two. Yeah, that's an awesome card. Uh, any shout outs or uh, notable rounds? Uh, shout out to um, Sun Valley Gaming, Johnny Nagel from Zodiac Duelist, BB. For Chris. Baby's uh, on Team Zodiac too. Leave him out. Oh, oh, oh. BB's secretly on my team. No one knows about nah, it. Nah, he's Zodiac Duelist. <laughs> Zodi BB. BB is Zodiac Duelist also. And they're like family to me. They've supported me the most all weekend. Like, we went out last night. The whole whole week, the whole night last night, they're like, Oscar, you're winning this. You're winning this week. Can we believe in you? Um, uh, let's see what else. Shout out to Billy because he, he really did expi expire a lot of choices in my deck. And like, he told me he was testing Camel. And he just ended up taking it out for a, a, a third eccentric. I just I really like the one camel, so I stuck with it. Uh, I think it's about it. All right, thanks, man.